So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have some issues. We have not only parentheses, but now we have brackets. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is brackets mean nothing more than parentheses. They're just another grouping symbol. So if you want to rewrite these as another set of parentheses, that's perfectly fine. However, having two sets of parentheses or two sets of grouping symbols or brackets and parentheses does bring up a very, very important point which we need to remember, which is the order of operations. When we're looking at order of operations, PEMDAS, all right, the first one is parentheses or grouping symbols, as it probably should be um, better called. Well, when we're looking at grouping symbols, you always want to look on the innermost grouping symbol. So we have brackets, right? And then inside of brackets, we have parentheses. So we want to see, can we simplify inside the parentheses? Can you simplify 2x squared plus 1? No, right? They're not like terms. Then we look directly outside the parentheses. And what do we notice? Now my parentheses is being multiplied by 4. So that is going to be what operation I'm going to want to apply next. Okay. So we look outside this parentheses. Because what we want to do is we want to simplify the, the parentheses first. So I need to apply distributive property to my innermost parentheses first. Therefore, I'm going to rewrite the whole problem. 14x squared plus 5 minus 4 times 2x squared is going to be 8x squared. Again, remember, multiplying and dividing, um, you do not have to have like terms. You can just multiply the 4 um, times the 2, which will give you 8x squared. 4 times 1 is a positive 4 plus 5. All right, so then I go back through print, I go back through PEMDAS. I look inside my parentheses. Yes? Why would it be negative Because remember, we are just looking inside the parentheses. Forget about everything that's outside the parentheses. That's a negative outside of the bracket, right? So just, we always, we're just looking on the innermost parentheses first. So here, that's actually a positive 4 inside the bracket. Yes, it's going to be negative outside, but for right here, that's a positive 4. So therefore, 8x plus 4. Now, can I simplify inside this grouping symbol? Yeah, you can combine those. So 14x squared plus 5 minus 8x squared plus 9. Okay. Now, we see that my grouping symbol, I cannot simplify this any further. These are not like terms. But now my grouping symbol is being multiplied by a negative 1. So I need to apply distributive property again. So I get. 14x squared plus 5, negative 1, remember that's a negative 1, times negative 8x squared, and then negative 1 times 9 is a negative 9. And now, now we just need to make sure we, um, there's no more multiplying and dividing, so we just need to group our terms. So I write 14x squared minus 8x squared plus 5 minus 9. 14x squared minus 8x squared is going to be 6. x squared, 5 minus 4 is negative 4. All right. So next class period, ladies and gentlemen, we will be doing some examples on this. Um, 